following contest is a Hell in a Cell match and is for the World Wrestling Championship. Making his way to the ring, representing the Legends from wherever he wants, weighing in at 195 pounds, Earl Collins. From the inside, weighing in at 135 pounds, the Godfather. Let's not forget the title is on the line here tonight. How can I forget? I've been looking forward to this match for a long time. And guys, I hate to say it, but sometimes his ego can be just plain nauseating. Yeah, and for me, sometimes it's hard to recognize how talented he is when he's constantly walking around with his chest out. A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. It's the structure that's going to make the difference in this one, folks. These superstars can act all nonchalant when they want, but when you see that structure and the door slams behind you, I don't care who you are, you shudder inside. Oh, no argument there, Corey. That's why there have been so few WWE superstars who have ever had the guts to step inside the structure for a Hell in a Cell match. The thing that makes this so much more insidious than a simple cage match is there's no escape. The door is padlocked, and the only way out is by pinfall or submission. Or by stretcher, maybe. There's always that. Wrists captured and oh, that was nasty. Off into the pin. And he breaks the count quickly. Doesn't go well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. And an impressive amount of offense against him here. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. With the Lariat. He's taking some good hits. Thank you. 
Oh, look at this. A release belly to belly. Wriggling the opponent's head like a basketball. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. Oh, no. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more. Tony is out! Tony is out! Still in it with a quick kick out. We're well into the match, and he still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable.
He finally made it to the top of the cage after a long, hard climb. Yeah, but Saxon, I have a feeling the hard part's just beginning. He's crazy, Michael. He is absolutely crazy. He's over. Uh-oh. Batting down the hatches. Oh, I can't watch this, guys. I can't look. Here. This is what he feeds off of. Turned it into an arm drag. He's showing it's not time for lying down, it's time for fighting back. He gets set down to the floor. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. And that's some late match offense from him. Yeah, no time for playing around at this point, and he is fully aware of that. Heading back to the ring. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. And he said, you're not helping with that this time. These superstars must be feeding off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Staggering 
to his feet, but he won't like what's coming. Uh oh. Batten down the hatches. Draining was that. Can it be done again? Can that maneuver be? I don't care who you are. You can't survive any more of those. And we have a new champion. Unbelievable. Here is your winner and new world wrestling champion, The Godfather. What a shift into the time for this championship match. Michael, there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps. Then imagine how the new champ must feel, Byron.